Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a new scope I bought. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to do an unboxing. I don't typically do unboxing reviews, but I thought I would do this one. And it is a new scope I bought. And last night I was kind of like a kid anticipating Christmas morning. It was I knew this was coming according to the tracking. Kind of excited about this scope guys. And I wanted to share an unboxing with you guys. Kind of first uh, look at it just like me. And I want to see my reaction, how, how I like it and things. So uh, I will open this up this is the new Arkin line of scopes and it just came off the truck about 10 minutes ago so let's take a look pretty excited about this I've done a lot of research on scopes if you follow my channel you know that uh, I am budget friendly try to be with my channel on uh, stuff and I bought some accessories we'll talk about that as we go here and uh, Let's see what we got in all in the box here. So that's all of that. If you're not familiar with the Arkin line of scopes, I'll kind of give you the cliff notes. Um, the gentleman that started this uh, is a former Navy SEAL. The, uh, then he has a partner, I think, or something that helps him with this. Uh, there's a few guys involved. Pretty small. They only offer a couple uh, types of scopes. And uh, so let's take a look here at what we got. Now I think I'm missing something I thought was ordered, but maybe not. Uh, let's see if it's in the box. It is not, so I'll have to reach out to them and see. Uh, I ordered what's called a, um, um, uh, it's called something. It's uh, like a package that comes with like the throw lever and a few other things. Uh, it's a discounted uh, product when you buy it, but it uh, comes in this box here. This particular scope is a 4x14. First focal plane. And it is definitely set up for long range shooting. If you follow my channel, I did a couple videos recently of a few different items and I kind of gave a spoiler alert in one of them because I showed what a reticle looks like out of one of these. This thing is super heavy, guys. Um, this is not uh, your typical hunting type scope or anything. Uh, pretty heavy. One thing this thing talks about with this, uh, the quality of this thing is the uh, turrets and all that. And um, that was one of the things that uh, gets you a little sticker here, instruction manual. So they make a 4x16, which is what this one is, and a 6x24x50. By uh, by uh, the cool thing about this one that's a little different than your typical budget price scope. Uh, price on this one, $399. Hard to beat that price for this type of scope. Um, most all your cheaper lines of scopes are gonna be 30 millimeter tubes. This is 34 millimeter tubes. Typically when you see 34 millimeter tubes, you're getting into night force and uh, scopes like that. So this one actually comes with 34 millimeter tubes. Got your instruction manual here. One thing I will say that I'm a little leery about already with this uh, company, not the scope per se, but uh, the company, is their customer service uh, is not well known in, as far as being good. So that's an issue. I've already had to reach out to them a couple times. Uh, and with no response. So they do have a phone number. If you can find it on the internet, it's out there. When you call that number, it uh, goes to a pre-recorded message that tells you to text them at that number um, or go to their website, whatever. I have texted them numerous times. I've emailed them numerous times because I had mentioned earlier in this video about the what they call the, uh, I think it's the precision pack or something like that. And it's a little package they put together with a, a squeeze bag a throw lever, a bubble level, and something, and it's like half off if you buy it with the scope. Now, I originally thought I'd bought it without it by accident, but then I looked at my the way I was charged, on, and they charged me for it, uh, according to what I saw, but now I don't see it shipped. So, 
anyway, I'm going to have to get in touch with them. That's the only negative I've seen so far with this whole situation is um, their customer service may be lacking, which is a little concerning. I'm going to try reaching out to them. Hopefully, you know, these st smaller startup companies um, sometimes struggle with that, just having enough employees to pay the bills plus pay the employees and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see, guys. Um, this is a Gen 2. They, If you look there, it says SH4 Gen 2. Um, this has had a couple variations already. But uh, the only concerning part definitely is that... Um, customer service situation so we'll see i do know that they use affiliates so you'll see quite a few people on uh youtube that ask you to click a code to use their affiliate uh, they don't really offer any discounts even with the affiliate situation it is more of a um and free shipping it does include free shipping anyway but uh, this scope cap, pretty nice. It's uh, real rubbery on the back side. Uh, a lot of them are plasticky. Uh, this one does snap into place uh, pretty good. Um, I'm hoping that, because uh, I've now had real good luck with Butler Creek. I did wind up with Butler Creek Tactical Scope uh, Caps that uh, are much more durable because they're all rubber. But the problem is they didn't stay um, closed good. Uh, this one folds down all the way, which I like. That's where you run into some Butler cap issues. Butler Creek cap issues, they don't go down all the way. And if you knock the rifle over, it breaks your cap. This one does go down all the way, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I think these scope caps will be great. Uh, there's the rear one. Same thing. Uh, now, this one does not fold. I don't think. The, first, the front one did. Oh, that one does too, so... It's got an extra little catch here that you got to get past, um, but it does fold flat, which I do like. So, so somebody's going to ask probably where are these scopes made? Made in China. Just letting you know now. Uh, I decided to go ahead and get their rings. Um, I normally use like a TPS, uh, one of those type companies, um, Badger Ordnance, whatever. I mean, just I use, but I decided to try their rings. Uh, since they uh, had them in there and I figured I know these work for this one obviously so I just went ahead and bought them so <clears throat> let's see here here's where they say this thing really shines yeah that definitely has very positive and audible one thing I will tell you the internals here of your turrets are stainless steel they're not brass this also has a zero stop and I'll show you how that works and I'll go into more details this is just strictly an unboxing review once I get to using it and things like that I'll come back and do a different review but you just simply take your allen wrench here that they include stick it in there and I think you just simply turn it Probably should read the instructions but I think I know how this works Before I damage this, I want to make sure I don't want to damage it. So let me uh, let me do a little more. Oh wait a minute, here we go. Okay, no, that didn't do it either. All right, before I get like I so said, I don't want to damage this thing. So let me uh, let me read the instructions before I get too crazy, uh, turning a bunch of screws here, um, and then I will figure it out. But uh, let's see this turret here. Yeah, really nice, solid clicks. And everything lines up. <clears throat> You'll see some of these scopes. I've had them in the past uh, in this price point that they do not line up quite exact. They'll kind of be off to one side or another. Uh, this one lines up just perfect. So this one is a, writ, a lit reticle, but it's only just the center portion, not the entire reticle. Uh, let's go ahead and stick a battery in it. Kind of disappointed in this whole customer service thing. And <clears throat> they charged me because I looked yesterday and I thought, well, okay, maybe I am getting the precision pack or whatever it is they call it um, because I was charged for it. Uh, they, this $399, um, and then they wound up charging me $434 or something. So I knew that the price was in it. I just didn't receive it um, where I was charged. So let's see here. So it's on 16 now.
you're never going to be able to see this reticle probably in this. Can you can you try seeing just the? Can you see the reticle at all? My son's down here is helping me. Say hello, son. Ah. Uh. Can you see it? What you're looking for is the reticle in the scope. You see it? No. Yeah. Um, I'll have to play with it, guys. Once I get it mounted on my rifle, I can probably get behind the rifle and get it in there. But uh, check it out. It's a really cool reticle, a Christmas tree style. And it does have uh, your parallax adjustment from... Now, this one is probably not best for like a... Uh, 22 trainer because it only goes from 25 to infinity where some of these you on a 22 you probably want like a 10 yard to infinity uh, so this one's only 25 yards to infinity so and that's really smooth um, your rear adjustment nice and smooth like I said does uh, you can buy a throw lever for it either from them or otherwise and put it on I'm gonna have to get in touch with them and that's the bad part that's concerning me is uh, I've tried reaching out to them before this thing was ever shipped about that um, and no response back to any of my emails or text messages at all so anyway guys <clears throat> pretty excited about it hopefully the customer service side if you've got any experience with Arkin scopes and their customer service or whatever uh, be sure to uh, share that with us uh, that would be greatly appreciated kind of and ship times was quick uh, was no sooner than I ordered it then I think the very next day I got a tracking notification uh, I ordered it earlier this week uh, today is Saturday so it took I think I ordered it on Monday or Tuesday and here it is Saturday and I've gotten the scope so uh, pretty happy with at least the ship times they didn't wait so I do know that they're out of stock <coughs> quite often of these Currently, they're out of stock on the MOA version. This is the mill uh, version, so they do have it in stock. So go over there and check them out. Uh, again, if you got any experience with them, please share that with us. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video. Sure, really have a great day.